Hello and welcome Photoshop. So I recently broke my hand so I thought we should do something fairly simple in Photoshop. And I thought about doing this chromatic aberration slash channel movement or uh, call it what you want. Some kind of color effect. This is achieved by moving around the channels in Photoshop or with the blending options which we will use. And as you can see it can be used in this case of some kind of I don't know, extra effects. This reminds me of some kind of hipster effect. I know I say this all the time, but it really does, in my taste at least. But you can also use it for other different things, as Vimeo did here uh, in its promotion with this um, series, homegrown web series. Um, and I think this is a cool, exciting text effect. Uh, another example is taken a bit further. Uh, obviously, you will have to do this, you will need four different images. Um, but uh, let's move in Photoshop. So I found some stock images I wanted to use for this effect. And it's kind of funny. It uh, by accident actually had chromatic aberration. So let's zoom in and see. As you can see, we have some blue here and some red here. And this is either caused by uh, the a cheap lens or some kind of slow shutter speed setting because then some light waves will travel faster than others and then create this displacement. Luckily, uh, it's really easy to fix either in uh, lens correction or camera raw filter, but uh, let's not talk about that. So now we'll show you how you can activate only one channel on a specific layer or other, so you don't have to come into the actual channels panel and choose the whole document and move around with that. So for this case, we will recreate either the Vimeo example or the hipster effect example because you won't need as many channels as this as you can see it's one two three different channels and all channels combined to create this black and white all right so you will need to render out your image and then go and right click blending options and here you can choose what channel it should be so i in my case i will only have red and now i will move it around and as you can see we can create some really interesting light effects fast. Now I could also duplicate this, come back, and then choose the green instead. Um, but one thing that makes this effect hard to work with uh, is that it relies on the background. So if it had no background, you'll see, okay, now it's suddenly green. On So it's kind of tricky to play around with, and it relies on the background. So um, it can be a bit tricky, but it will create a lot of interesting effects really quick. Now let's go ahead and try to create something like this. So I cheat a little bit and I already have four layers ready. So let's go in and add these different layer styles, the channels. So I'll start with the red, then the, the green, and then the blue. All right. So you can also all that because as you see this layer here doesn't have a lot of details but as soon as the channels overlap it will show uh, details. So so look, it looks like he's getting ready to shoot so getting ready, aiming and I want him to shoot so I've just got the smoke ready and um, I'll flip on the Y. And I wanted it to look like it just shot. And at the last, it was black and white. So I can go in and create a gradient map and only let it exist on the top layer. So this is maybe kind of the basics for this effect. This is better, you know, it has some gradients and such on the sides. Um, but it is the basics. One note before moving on, I talked about this trick to work with because you can't really apply. Um, you can really rasterize them as easily because they are transparent and they rely on the background. So if you rasterize them, they won't be transparent anymore. So if you want to to add some different colors to it, you can create a stamp visible instead, and then go in and play it around with the settings. So in my so an example could be the whole slash saturation to get different colors or something. Um, but yeah, just a little quick tip. I hope you found this useful, enjoy. Please like, share or comment, it really helps out this handicapped photoshopper a lot. Thanks for watching.